count um, as you get deeper into this um, mm -hmm. into this uh, uh, written statement te by Jared written Kushner written testimony. Released. Yes, okay. there is an account of, of that matter. Um, he his version again. I'm going to summarize here, but his version is that in his meeting with Kislyak in December, um, a meeting that he claims Kislyak wanted, asked for repeatedly. He did not. He says he didn't have time to schedule it for about a week. It finally got on the calendar. He went. They talked. Kislyak told him, mm -hmm. I believe I'm fairly representing this, that he wanted, he, Kislyak, had information from Russian generals about the situation in Syria that he wanted to convey to the incoming administration. Mm -hmm. And he, Kislyak, asked if there were a secure line into the transition that they could use in order to convey that information. K Kushner and Michael Flynn, who was also in the meeting, you'll recall, uh, replied to him that no, there was no such secure line. At which point, Kushner says that he then asked, well, is there some secure line that you might have so we could have this conversation? He then claims Kislyak said no, and that was the end of the conversation. Again, wow. just reading you the Kushner version. Well, this, of and of course, this just all came out in the past hour. So <clears throat> we're doing our best to get through it. But clearly, Jared Kushner is looking to clear his name and move on. Uh, today, Kushner is expected to answer questions from staff of the Senate Intelligence Committee, as we mentioned, investigating Russia. The interview will be conducted behind closed doors, and Kushner will not be under oath. That June 2016 meeting at Trump Tower with Donald Trump Jr. and a Russian lawyer is expected to be at the top of the agenda. As we've been saying, just in this morning is a copy of his statement to congressional investigators. He's expected to say that Trump Jr. invited him to the meeting, but at that time he did not know who else would be there and didn't read the entire email. The only concern about that is the subject line was pretty clear. The first word was Russia. The first word was Russia. The statement reads, quote, I arrived at the meeting a little late. When I got there, the person who has since been identified as a Russian attorney was talking about the issue of a ban on U.S. adoptions of Russian children. I had no idea why that topic was being raised and quickly determined that my time was not well spent at this meeting. Looking for an excuse to leave, Kushner says he emailed an assistant to call his cell. He claimed there were for, quote, 10 minutes or so, and that he had never met with the Russian attorney before that meeting, nor has he spoken with her since. Kushner could also face questions over transparency. We learned late Friday that his financial forms were revised to include almost 80 assets that were omitted in previous disclosures. Kushner has also had to update his security clearance forms several times to include previously undisclosed meetings with foreign nationals. He ex expected to tell the congressional panel, quote, I did not collude, nor know of anyone else in the campaign who colluded with any foreign government. I had no improper contacts. I have not relied on Russian funds to finance my business activities in the private sector. I have tried to be fully transparent with regard to the filing of my SF-86 form above and beyond what is required. Hopefully, this puts these matters to rest. Casey, anything else uh, standing out to you? Well, Mika, I'm just trying to, to wrap my, my head around this entire statement and kind of what it means in context. And I would say that this is essentially the chaos and sloppiness defense. Essentially, Jared Kushner is explaining away mm. point by point all of the concerning things, and, and we just ticked through some of them, and offering his version of events uh, that essentially makes things that may seem to be problematic simply the result of somebody overlooking something of the chaos of the campaign. Uh, in the case of the SF-86, he says that his assistant hit send too soon because they misinterpreted uh, his instructions. And that, of course, has resulted that he's now entangled uh, in trying to explain why he didn't list those contacts. Y you just mentioned he in that statement uh, him wanting to leave the meeting with the Russian lawyer. There was an email that was sent, so there's mm -hmm. a paper trail where he says, can you please call me on my cell? Need an excuse to get away. He says that's because he walked into the meeting and immediately decided it was a waste of time, not that he decided there was something that was potentially problematic and that he needed to remove himself uh, from the situation. And, and I will say from my reporting on how this is going, talking to members of the committee uh, privately, I, this is to a certain extent, I think, the, the opening that Republicans who want to find a reason to defend the president yeah. are looking to give them. They are essentially saying, look, 
There couldn't be any collusion here because nobody was in any position to collude. Everybody was drinking out, out of a fire hose. So I think that's the direction you're going to see this go over the course of today. Um, Clint, the SF-86. Yeah, I, I, one of my bigger problems I have with all of this is the SF-86. Mm -hmm. I mean, that is your essentially your own personal testimony about your uh, qualifications, you know, your history, your work history. And I just know from having worked in government, I probably have filled out a dozen SF-86s in my career. And if I had made those kinds of mistakes, I would be uh, immediately flagged or, you know, held out for review and probably rejected. And so I think that's a major oversight. And now we're looking at someone who has been tasked with enormous responsibility in this administration to solve uh, what are supposedly many different uh, foreign policy uh, technical issues. We put it all to rest on this one person. Yeah. And now we're finding out that there's hundreds of contacts. Uh, lots of financial disclosure forms have not been filled out. Yet we're putting this Many person different in levels. charge of this. So we're, we're reading a really long statement put out this morning by Jared Kushner, who's expected to answer questions from the Senate Intelligence Committee staff today. Thanks for checking out MSNBC on YouTube. And make sure you subscribe to stay up to date on the day's biggest stories. And you can click on any of the videos around us to watch more for Morning Joe and MSNBC. Thanks so much for watching.